This must be the cenotaph the Hooded Man spoke of. Its power breaches shadow. There is much I might do here. This cenotaph is erected upon the graves of many dead mortals. It shall be easy to gate weave back to this place should I find another such monument. And I sense a gate here already. The Hooded Man's work, mayhap. It must be the way out he mentioned. Do not order me, demon. You're in my town now. Thol, the city of outcasts. We must find my son. I have unfinished business with Nemec.
Perched atop an ancient stone plateau, amidst the red sands of the outlands, lies the city of Thole. Centuries ago, it was a major garrison for the Gerulian Empire, and there may even have been a settlement prior to this era. These days, Thole is a city of thieves and outcasts. Fugitives of all kinds come here to avoid complications in neighboring nations. Not everyone in Thole has a price upon his head, but no one who dwells here is innocent. The Guild of Steel like to call themselves mercenaries, protecting the few caravans that ply their trade across the desert. Yet those that do not pay for their protection find the Guild equally adept at brigandage. The Guild of Silk call themselves merchants and do indeed sell all manner of goods and trinkets. Though it is best not to ask them from whence they came. A vast stone gate is all that remains of the Barbican that once defended these walls. Now, it guards the city of Thole once more from the horde of nomads that besiege it. For three years, I have been hiding here amid the detritus of the heretic kingdoms. But it is only a matter of time before my former allies locate me. And I am running out of places to hide. My hometown. I'll do the talking here. I do not need yours or anyone else's permission to return to my city, Duke. Kalik! I thought you were... Um... Ted? What can I say? I got better. You should not have come back. Nemec commands the Guild of Steel now. My son and I have much to... discuss. Do not bring fighting onto my streets or there will be consequences. It is bad enough that we are besieged without civil war breaking out inside the walls. We're under attack? Aye. Nomads under the command of some Taimurian exile. But the city has stood for centuries and it will not fall under my watch. I'll be keeping an eye on you, Kalig. What an honor. Te ma al ortas. I'm coming, Nemec. Papa's home. Elrashad, try outside the main doors into the guild. Elrashad, Try outside the... You looking to make a few coins? I had a... Uh, well, I, I got close to a uh, lady of the night, and I seem to have misplaced... If I don't get one before inspection, my superior will kill me. I'll pay a hundred for one if you can get it for me. You should shop around, though. Some stalls are cheaper than others. These are dangerous times for one without sufficient protection. Come, sample my fine wares. I have the best prices on armor, I assure you. Helms, mail.
Do you have it? You bailed me out here. You have my thanks and my money. Thy premise is flawed, but thou mayest continue. I am, or was, at least, a scrying mage. I foolishly let my husband use my skills to help him steal from the Guild of Silk. He forbade me from joining the Order, but I didn't want to stay in Thor my whole life. Although, as it turns out, that's exactly what did happen. What dost thou want? To be at peace. To be avenged against my murderous husband. On my body is a rare piece of silk my husband stole. Will you take the evidence to the guards and bring- As thou wishest, spirit. Ask my drunken husband. Hey, you all look strong. And you look like you've had enough to drink. What of it? Listen, my witch of a wife has been practicing magic in secret. I was ordered not to do it, but things went wrong. Anyway, you're gonna have all the coins in this boat, you fair enough. Oh, wonderful! What? That looks suspiciously heavy for a soap barrel. Yeah, crack it open. Tope's wife's body's in it, and some stolen silk. He killed her, and he's been stealing from the Guild of Silk. Go round him up. <laughs> <laughs> 